Well, guys, I know a lot of people thought, and I know some of the recent announcements that Brampton is going to get these new Chrysler products, right? And it's part of, the announcement is part of Stellantis getting grant money from the United States government. I think Stellantis, one, just finessed the U.S. government, and two, Brampton is for sale. Let's talk about it. Perfect. All right, guys, welcome on back to TK's Garage. We talked about this previously with BYD uh, doing walk arounds in that area in that factory that's been shut down since what was it was it it was uh december 24th of 2023 is when that plant shut down so coming up on a year right now i've talked to multiple people that have worked at that facility and um it's very interesting Normally when a plant like that closes down, and, and my guys that work, you guys that are subscribers that work in these plants, you guys know how this works, and you guys can also comment and say if I'm right or wrong here. Usually they send in contractors, they start tearing stuff down, or they start sending in contractors to get ready to retool that factory for, or that assembly plant for whatever the next model is, right? Well, in this case, nothing has been done. Further, it's not just a, a thought, but with BYD doing a tour there, and if they were really going to retool this factory into another uh, assembly plant, why would they sell the property around it? Why would they sell the property around the plant? This is... The sales of the real estate or the property around that, you guys can look it up. I mean, this is all property that they would use to hold or have inventory while they're waiting to ship stuff out. Did they expect not to sell as many vehicles, so they sold up all, a bunch of the property around Brampton? Hmm. Suspect. Two, um, no new anything has been installed there. Right? We already talked about that. No outside contractors have been in the plant. And every single person that I've talked to that has worked at Brampton, at uh, Belvedere, which is currently closed, and other facilities that have gone through model changes um, or changeovers, like changing from one model to another, contractors or in and looking at what was going to be done and, and already starting to get stuff done before the last car rolled off the line. That didn't happen at Brampton. Now, I know Stellantis wants to try to convince people, and, I, and, and listen, with them holding it as an asset, I do believe that they could retool it, right? But I think it's for sale for one specific reason. One, they sold a bunch of property around it, Two, I think they're going to sell that factory to a Chinese manufacturer. If it's not BYD, they already have a partnership with GAC. Maybe it's a, maybe it ends up going to somebody else, right? Another Chinese manufacturer. And they move and they still honor the agreement by manufacturing these vehicles, you know, the, the agreement that they have. Maybe they do uh, eventually open some kind of production line at Belvedere for batteries or something so they don't have to give back the hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. What's crazy is as bad as they want to shut down all of the U.S. manufacturing, with what I'm seeing right now at Brampton, and that's from people that one have worked there, I, I literally have a slew of emails. Um, People that have been to the facility now since it's been closed, nothing's changed. Nothing has been torn down off the line. 
I don't know if they could immediately retool and start making Challenger, uh, you know, Challenger Hemi cars again. I don't know if that stuff is still sitting there on the line or if they've taken that stuff down. But I mean, the complete breakdown, having the contractors in, what goes here, what's going to go here on the line, doing all of that stuff to make Brampton viable to make this new Chrysler car that they keep promising that they're going to do. I just don't see it. I think Brampton is 100% going to be sold let me know what you think about my assessment in the comment section down below uh, i just don't see it and any of you guys that have been through a retooling period at a different facility let me know am, am i right am i wrong i mean in my time and again and i don't outside of the manufacturing process i mean i did have a company that did a contract with gm uh in florida for a little bit and there was a factory down there where i stamped uh, six lug covers for you know those little cheap plastic aluminum looking things that would snap over 2500 HD uh, Chevy truck wheels back in the day and uh, Escalades and stuff. I think we had two contracts with them. Uh, needless to say, it's very hard to make money in that field in manufacturing. It really is. Uh, I didn't do it long. I did it for like 18 months and, and sold out of that company. But Anytime I was going to do something else, it makes sense. Like if we went from a Chevy product or I think it was a, I think we did something for Saturn for a little bit too. And then we tooled out of that. So whenever you change a product line or something that's going on, people are already there. Why that stuff is still going on. And that's not happening at Brampton. I'm speaking from my personal experience, from what I've seen as a business owner that's done that. And from all of you guys that consistently tell me how the process goes. But again, let me know what you think about the assessment in the comment section down below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay petty, my friends.